Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we'll be seeing TF-IDF. In the previous video, I have already discussed about bag of words, how you can use bag of words to convert your sentences into vectors. Now in this particular video, I'll be discussing about TF-IDF, that is term frequency and inverse document frequency. Understand, TF basically means term frequency. This is the formula. Okay, I'll discuss about this particular formula in some time. Inverse document frequency is basically this. This is the formula and finally we multiply term frequency and inverse document frequency to convert the sentences into vectors. Now one of the disadvantage of bag of words, I told you that there is no semantic meaning, much semantic difference because either we have values like ones or zeros. All the values, all the features basically have one value, right? That I had discussed in my previous video itself. If you have not seen, I'd suggest please go to my playlist. The link is given in the description of that specific video, okay? Now, just understand that we'll just try to see how TF-IDF is actually derived and finally how do we get our features, you know, with different kind of vectors and how now semantic meaning is there in each and every sentences. Now, I'm just going to take a very simple sentence which I've actually taken in my previous example of bag of words. In sentence one, I have good boy, okay? Now, this sentence one, sentence two, sentence three is basically derived after you do you know, lemmatization or stemming, lemmatization or stop words, right? After do you do that, I've got some words in sentence one, I've got, got good boy. In sentence two, I've got good girl. In sentence three, boy, girl, good. I've got like that, okay? Now, <clears throat> based on this particular word, first of all, we'll go and find out the histograms. Histograms basically means that, uh, okay, I should not write bag of words here. Instead, I should write it as TFIDF, okay? I'm going to write it as, okay. Now frequency, I'm just kind of going to count out how many times good is present, good is present three times, boy is present two times from the sentences, girl is present two times. Now, we will try to convert this whole sentences into vectors, which looks like this, you know, after applying TF-IDF technique. Now in TF-IDF, the first technique is called as term frequency. Now what does term frequency actually mean? Term frequency is basically given by a formula, number of repetition of words in a sentence number of repetition of words in a sentence divided by number of words in a sentence okay only one sentence i'm not saying sentences number of repetition of words in a sentence divided by number of words in a sentence now i have these three features i'm going to write it over here and with respect to this we'll try to find out the term frequency of good boy and girl in sentence one sentence two sentence three okay now in sentence one i have good boy now if i want to find out term frequency Number of repetition of word in a sentence, right? How many times good is present over here? Only one time. One time good is present. Divided by total number of words in sentence, how many words are present in the sentence? Two. So I can write the term frequency of good in this whole corpse, in this whole corpse, right? Or in this particular sentence is basically one by two. I'll not say corpse, but we should consider sentence, okay? Is one by two. Similarly, in this sentence one, boy is also present, right? What will be the term frequency of boy? Again, number of repetition of words in a sentence. How many times boy is present? One. Total number of words is two, one by two. Then if I go and see for girl, how many times girl is present? Zero times. So this will become zero, right? Similarly, I'll go and compute for sentence two. In sentence two, I have good and girl. So good is actually one by two because I just have two words. Girl is one by two. Basically, this is one by two. Uh, the total number of words are two. Girl uh, word is actually present one. So one by two is over here. In sentence three, with respect to boy, girl and good, I can just write one by three, one by three, one by three. Okay. So this is how easily we actually calculate the term frequency. Okay. Now comes the important time, important thing that is called as inverse document frequency. Okay. Now inverse document frequency, I will again take the words, all these particular words, good boy and girl. And then I'll try to calculate the inverse document frequency. Now inverse document frequency basically says log of, right? Number of sentences. Understand how many number of sentences are there? Three. In every situation for every word, the number of sentences will be three. It will be fixed. Divided by number of sentences containing the word. Okay. Now if I want to compute for sentence, good, in sentence one, right? And uh, suppose I want to calculate the inverse document frequency for good. First of all, we'll go and write log of how many number of sentences are there? Three, right? So I've write, written three. Then how many sentences contain this word good? You see over here good is present here, here, here. So the count will be three. So log three by three is nothing but zero. If I want to find out the inverse document frequency, I'm basically using this formula and getting the value as zero for good. And remember, this value will be good, uh, zero itself. Now with respect to the second word boy, how many number of uh, sentences are yet? Log of three. Okay, fine. How many times boys are present? Boy is present one and two in sentence one and sentence three. So log of three by two. 
right so this is my inverse document frequency for boy word now inverse document frequency for girl word is again log 3 by 2 because two times girls are, girl is present okay and the total number of sentences is 3 right i have got this inverse document frequency pretty much easy now what is my final goal i have to multiply term frequency multiplied by inverse document frequency so what i'm going to do i'm going to take this good boy and girl these are my features now with respect to sentence one i have to multiply with this with these values so in f1 good that is over here and send this is my feature one right in sentence one again i'm taking sentence one i'm just traversing this like this sentence one is coming here and good boy girl is coming over here now with respect to sentence one i will be multiplying this value with this this value with this this value with this right so in feature one you can see good one by two multiplied by zero is nothing but zero with respect to by one by two multiplied by log of three by two so here i'm getting this value in case of girl this is zero so i multiplied by this is nothing but zero okay <clears throat> now similarly with respect to sentence two you can see over here again uh, sentence two over here one by two multiplied by zero is again zero zero multiplied by log of three by two is again zero one by two multiplied by log three by two is this value now in the third sentence first word again one by three multiplied by zero is zero right one by three multiplied by log three by two okay one by three multiplied by log three by two one by three multiplied by log three by two so these two values are come now understand most important thing guys when we are using bag of words we just have values like ones and zeros but just understand in the first sentence where i have good boy right over here the importance is basically given to the boy you can see by this because this value is coming as higher when compared to the other values in the future right we are saying something about the boy now with respect to sentence two also you can see good girl good is not given that importance but girl is definitely given this particular importance you know so there is some semantic meaning we are trying to bring some semantic meaning in the third sentence also again you can see because this good is present frequently in every sentences right it may have the same meaning what about boy and girl now here see again boy and girl are given the more importance <coughs> Now just try to compute these values and you will be getting a different different values you will not just be getting ones and zeros here you'll be getting in decimals like 0 0.17 0 0.37 0 0.47 now this is just with the example of three sentences guys i've just taken a simple example just imagine when you have huge number of sentences at that time how this particular thing will work in a wonderful manner right and always remember i'll be having an output feature this will be my dependent feature now after i convert this is basically my vectors with respect to the sentences now I'll take this independent feature, give it to my model for training. This output will be treated as a dependent feature. And this is how we actually compute TF-IDF that is term frequency and inverse document frequency. So I hope you like this particular video. I hope you have understood this strategy. Please make sure that you refer again and again. And yes, uh, this is all about this particular video. I hope you like it. Please do subscribe to the channel. If you are not already subscribed, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you one and all. Bye-bye.